The resolution approving the request by the citizens for a clean WASA to access Riverside Park for soil testing. Parks and Rec approved this five to zero. I hope we can uh, get this supported. I do not want to be part of a body uh, that is afraid to look for fear of what we might find. I think we need to look, uh, and I think from, I was encouraged by the contents of the packet in terms of determining liability uh, if something is found. And I think that uh, this community, this city government uh, can pony up the money for uh, resolving the problem if, it, you know, if we find one. I don't think there's going to be one, but we need to be able to if somebody asks us if that's safe down there, we need to be able to say yes. And right now we can't say yes. I hope this goes through because I can't imagine a reason not to. If it comes up that there's um, waste or there's contamination, we'll deal with it because that's our duty to the residents and, and who are the taxpayers and who, who use the park and who pay our taxes and say, protect us. We're, paying, we're pooling our taxes, protect us. Um, I, I, I just, it's been such a long fight, and some of you know that, and it's, it's, just, it's just so frustrating to me because this just seems like a non-issue. Um, we, it doesn't matter who caused this problem. I don't care. We can go back and go after them. We have DNR looking at Waleco. There might be, you know, oh, the, the city may have done something. That, that's not on us. It's just on us to protect the citizens from here on out. And to echo, I think, uh, what Mr. Peckham said, I don't want to be a part of a group who has shut the door on a, a grassroots effort that has been months, years in, in uh, developing uh, a compelling argument for let's look at this. Uh, I hope, and, I, and I, I think I also agree with Mr. Peckham, I, I think that we'll come up with uh, results from the citizens' testing that shows, you know, there might be some stuff in the ground, but it's, it's going to be below um, uh, limits that are dangerous or a concern. I certainly hope that's the case. Uh, but as Alder uh, McElhaney said, if there is something there, then we'll deal with it. That's our job. So I, I will vote for this. I, I, I hope everybody votes for this because uh, you just can't uh, say no to this effort and you can't pretend that it will go away. We may sustain a huge financial responsibility. We put our residents at a huge financial risk when we may not have to. And all we are at being asked for by our legal team is some time. Our environmental representatives, our engineers have advised us and the Park and Rec Committee, we just need some time. Private sector is already underway on this testing. They're not fighting it, they're testing. We just need to wait a little bit. I also support testing, but not today and not tomorrow in the right order. And so if, if the resolution here is for us to authorize CCW to test immediately, I'm gonna vote no. And I'm sorry if people don't agree, but I will not put us at legal and financial risk when I know that I'm not, I'm not we don't have to do that. Mr. Smith. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I listened to uh, Lisa Rasmussen talk about this, and, and I would like to remind her that we have already been waiting a long time. That this subject didn't come up last Wednesday, and now we're trying to do something about it. We've been goofing around with this thing forever. And as far as if Willico's test turn up something and the citizens for clean water test turn up something, I don't know how that impacts one another. I don't know how the city could be accused of polluting it. Anyway, we don't produce any pollutants, I don't think. Uh, maybe we did in the past, and maybe we are somewhat responsible, and maybe we are going to have to clean it up. It's not, the, as, as Lisa said, it's not the responsibility of citizens to clean it up. It's our responsibility to make sure our citizens are safe. That's our responsibility. And I think a big step would let the citizens of Clean Wasa test. We'll find out what Lico has to say, and then we'll move on. And as Becky said, if there's something there, we'll deal with it. Somehow, we, all of a sudden, we don't want to spend any money on legal fees. Well, yeah, we're always going to have money on legal fees. We're, we have a number of suits going on now. 
so we just stop those so we don't have to spend any money on legal fees? I'm on. It doesn't make any sense. I'm going to support this. I've always supported it. I've walked up and down that park a number of times. It's not even in my district. But I'm concerned about the people of Wausau, all of them, whether they're my constituents or not. And I think we have to move forward. Thank you. And my job is like what Eric just said. It's to provide you the most expert inf advice and information upon which you can make the best informed decision. If you're doing something illegal, hopefully I will be able to tell you that. Granting their request is not illegal, but it doesn't come without some potential risk. That may be very minimal. It may not be minimal. I don't know, but I feel it's my job to inform you of those risks and the applicable statutes so that you can make your own decision. So I have no personal opinion on whether you grant this request or not. I just felt that you needed to be, it was my job to make you as best formed as, as I possibly could in making the decision. So thank you for recognizing that and giving me the opportunity to say this. And I'll tag on to what Eric said. Um, you know, the, the most conservative approach to eliminate you may not eliminate all liability or risk, but to reduce it to a point beyond which approving this request would go would require that we wait, like Lisa described, and see if Waleco's test results um, reveal something that may be linked back to them in Riverside Park so that it, it, the DNR maintains enforcement authority over that and would link that contamination to an already open case rather than opening a new case. But it's really as simple as that. It's a question of how much risk you're willing to assume in making your decision. And so when I think about this, and I think about living five blocks away from Riverside Park, I think about our responsibility, our service to our citizens. I think about our um, opportunity here to bring about safety to our citizens so it's not questioned. You know, make sure that their well-being is part of our decision making and that we are here to serve and protect. So I will be voting yes on this resolution tonight. And I would urge all of you to listen to the eight people that have come forward to share their um, opinions or experience or comments with all of us and all the great work that they have done from the grounds well up. Thank you. I will, I will vote for allowing this testing to go forward. I represent the community. I represent this park. Uh, I personally don't believe there's a problem. And that's me. I, I've lived in front of it. I've walked it. I haven't a problem walking the trail, rolling around in the grass. No problem whatsoever. No. But we'll allow you to do these tests. Thank you. I think that's honorable. Thank you. OK, not seeing any further discussion. You may begin voting. That moment has motion has passed eight to three.